What's up, beautiful people? It's your host, Lacey G. Style here, back with another video. Now, today we are going to do a similar video that we did last week. We are going shopping again. <laughs> so, we're going shopping today and we're going to H&M this time. So, I'm going to get some outfits out there for you guys to give you some inspiration for your fall looks. So, stay tuned because it's going to be gonna be good it's gonna be good now before we begin with the video make sure that you comment down below on whatever you want whatever story next you want me to go to as well give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel now without further ado let's get into it So this is the first look. I love this top. It has like um, it's like that same style of top. I like it's like a lower cut V, and then it flares out at the bottom. These type of tops are great for those who don't have a lot of hips. If you're if you're straight at the bottom, it gives you great volume. I already got volume, but at the same time, I still think these tops flatter me. The neckline and all that other jazz, and then the puff sleeve. I just, I'm absolutely in love. I try to pair them with the mom jeans, but meh. I don't know if I'm feeling it, feeling it. I would have to wear, excuse the, the mess at the bottom. But I would have to wear heels with them, but I wanted to do like a baggy, like the top is feminine and then the bottom is like more like masculine. I like the contrast between the two, but the girl, the change of attendant, she likes it. <laughs> She's like, I would wear this outfit, but. I really like this top, guys. It's really nice. So you can see it all. But definitely you can wear these with like a skinny jeans and I feel like that would be just regular, typical, right? And I don't want to do that. So that's why I paired it with the mom jeans look. I wish they kind of had like more rips, but at the same time, this is how it looks. Look. So there's this outfit. A leather paper bag. So I have these on in an eight. They said that they fit well. I wanted it to be actually a little bit baggier, but it's okay. They said it looks good. Everyone likes it in the store so far. I just don't like how the foot flares out, but now that I have the heels on, it looks a lot better. This is definitely something I would wear to like work or even like a nice event out in the evening. I would pair this with like a, a black blazer, maybe a suede black jacket. I wouldn't do leather on leather. It'd be a little bit too much. I'm not. That's like very fashiony, and, I, and I'm fashiony, but not that fashiony. You know what I mean? But I love this. I love these pants. They're really cute. I think I may get these. And even with these heels too. Like this is something I could so see someone wearing for work. And the turtleneck, fifteen dollars, girl. I don't know. I think it's like a cute classic work look. Yeah. Like I'm a boss. And the leather pants are a good stretch, girl. Like, they stretch really well, which is surprising because you already know what's going on back here. <laughs> so, yeah, I like it. It's different from a skinny, you know? I have a pair of skinny leather um, leggings that I bought from here, but I really like this one better. So, another look. I love the chunky knit with the leather. It's just like, I love the, I like contrast. I don't like things being the exact same. I'm not a traditional person. I love the leather skirt with the chunky knit. It just, I'm just living for it, girl. Just living for it. <laughs> but um, at first I was kind of like, ugh. But at the same time, like if I worked in an office or even if I was going out to like an event or something, I would throw these on with some higher heels. I like higher heels. I'm 5'3", so I like high heels. One style tip that I would say is mix your textures. Don't have it all the same all the way down. It doesn't have to be. You can do like a knit with leather. I just did it just now. It's cute. And I got the um, salespeople's opinion. All three of them. Two girls and a guy. They love it. Let me do something different. Maybe even a booty. Girl. Leopard. Leopard heels. We look so cute with this. I love this sweater. Girl. 
even with some like high waisted ripped jeans on a casual day, on a regular day. Come on, so dope. So this is like a jumpsuit. I wanted to try something different. Again, I have the heels on just to make sure that you guys can see it. I tried it on it in a 10, but that was a little bit too big. So this is an eight, like this. I feel like you could wear this to work. If you wanted, you can switch up the belt. The crotch is a bit low, but I still like it. Um, I don't mind it, it just needs to be steamed. I wish it had a, like, I wish it buttoned all the way up like this. Like, do you know how crazy that would look? But I get it, it wants to be more feminine, show more neckline and things like that. She's a man, y'all, like this. I'm gonna have to do a video where I show you guys my body shape and my sizing so that things like this makes it easier for you to know like okay if she bought it if Talisa bought it in this then I probably need to buy it in this or buy the exact same and vice versa whatever the case is I actually like it like this but I have a little surprise I want to try a little trying a ting with this here give me, give me one second one second okay so this is this with the blazer I'm not really like feeling it I feel like if it was buttoned all the way up it would look better but I don't know I, I'm trying to ting you guys I'm just I'm trying I'm trying I really like this blazer though I think I may get it just to wear as like literally a fall jacket I would have to wear like something thick underneath but I was trying I'm trying to get closer so you can see the pattern in it this is a size six if I was to wear this for every day, I would wear it leaving in the six. But if I was to wear it like just as a blazer, I would get it in. I would get it in a four. I like my blazers more fitted. But this fits perfect. I just want it a little bit more snug. But it is double breasted, so. But I feel like you can still wear this. Like wear this blazer with an all jeans look. As we call it in Toronto or in Canada, a Canadian tuxedo. I think this would work really great with that. And then some heels or some booties. But this is like a whole workwear look, I think. But I try. So I really like this one. This is like a plaid. These are a bit thicker, so these would be great in the winter time. And they're like a slack. I have them on in an eight. Interesting girl. Like look. <laughs> I can't I can't help it but I like that um, it's a white top with it but it is a different pattern again with black heels I feel like this is like a lot of these outfits are workwear but that's not my intention I realized by walking through H&M, a lot of this stuff you could wear to work if you work in an office nine to five. Comment down below if you want me to do a H&M workwear haul or try on haul where I can create outfits. This is one outfit for sure. I wish it was a little bit tighter just to show off my waist a little bit more. I have this jacket for another outfit, but let's see. Ah! <laughs> it's like a camera trick, but not really a trick. <laughs> Paired with this gray jacket, which I'm actually feeling, but I already have a great jacket. Like, I'm jacket obsessed when it comes to fall and winter. I have too many jackets because it's like, a jacket is like sunglasses in the summer. It just brings your whole look together, you know what I mean? I just love this, like, so sophisticated. Two different patterns. This, this, and then the gray, the solid gray just to bring everything together okay so I kind of did this last minute the leather pants that I had the leather paper bag pants the plaid or checkered top and then this blazer I don't know I, I, I really like this and then the just the basic H&M heels I think this is something like this is a look like you can wear it with like a plain white but I was like ah, let me try it I like that it's not matching. I don't really not into matchy, matchy, matchy. That's not me. But I think this is cute. I kind of feel like a detective on one of those crime shows. But yeah, this is the next one. This is the next look. Okay, so I'm trying to go for a norm core look. And I just feel like Jerry Seinfeld. Remember Seinfeld? 
I would hope some of you guys know Seinfeld, but <laughs> I just feel like Jerry Seinfeld. And you know what, It's to be honest, it's because it's a paper bag. I feel like if it was like a regular slack, it'd be okay. So it creates that kind of like that bulk and volume. I was trying something with these sneakers and the slacks and then the sweater. I think I still would wear this if I was out and about running errands and stuff. I like these like chunky sneakers. I just haven't found the right ones. Like, cause even these ones I don't really like too much, but I just wanted to make sure, make sure that it matches the outfit. I don't know, I feel a little bit Jerry Seinfeld-ish right now, but let me try it out with the jacket and try to tie it all in. Okay, so this is it with the jacket. I still feel, I don't know, I think it's a cool norm core look. This is that, yeah. I was trying guys, I was trying. Don't come for me in the comments. Comment down below if you think I look like Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> that whole norm core look is that whole like Jerry Seinfeld thing, so. I like the sweater, maybe I can do it with jeans versus this. This is the outfit of the day, y'all. A graphic tee that I got from Zara, uh, my Urban Planet Mom ripped jeans, and then my Kate Spade Keds. They're glitter. Yeah, I'm done. And it was like really fun. I enjoyed this time around than I did the first time. Because one, this change room has AC. Two, I feel like I got my creative juices flowing a little bit easier and better. And three, I had more fun with the staff here. They actually gave their opinions and they liked everything like the, the, even the ones that I didn't like they liked so so yeah I'm gonna go with my purchases which I took I bought I'm thinking I'm buying a lot more than I bought last time but these pieces I can justify buying them you know what I mean <laughs> so yeah guys that was it I did my try on in each and I'm hoping you guys are inspired by some of the looks now definitely make sure you give this video a thumbs up definitely comment down below on which outfit was your favorite and what other store you want me to go to next and as well make sure you're subscribed to my channel so now i'm gonna go home with all my purchases and create some more looks with different things that i have at home and yeah but thank you guys for watching see you in the next video bye